Growing up, I was surrounded by art, music, and culture. Very early on, that really inspired me to want to draw more, looking at the album covers that my dad used to play on the vinyls and the photographs that my mom used to have, trying to imitate that and draw all of those. So that really inspired me to want to do more art, just looking at the art and listening to the music. That has always been an inspiration for me. From second to 12th grade, I attended an art school. And in elementary school, we did really fun activities, but that always fueled me to want to do more arts. I entered into a lot of competitions, won the majority of the competitions I entered into. And so going into middle school, learning though the basics of art was something that I, I needed to grow as an artist. And those projects really set me up to kind of do the work that I do now. As a black person trying to figure out art and the styles that I wanted to pursue, I didn't really feel like I fit into what the textbook showed me, right? It was always images of whiteness and I feel like I couldn't relate to that. So going to an HBCU, South Carolina State University, is really where I learned a lot about black art, black painters, black sculptors, really just black art in general. So that really inspired me to do the work that I do now. Black individuals have always been creating art. Now everyone is trying to shine light on the black artists that have been creating art and that's present and then past artists as well. So teaching young kids about black art, that's what brings awareness to art and the black artists that have really cultivated and shaped the way we look at art now. You can see a piece of art and you think it's beautiful, but it's really the story behind it, the meaning that I think really resonates with people telling the story of the black women that I choose to capture, right? It's really telling their story is really how to spread black art in a way. The Van Gogh residency that I completed in summer 2021 really inspired me to want to have that, that interaction with the community and, and also create. So that's one of my goals now is to do more residencies and also more exhibitions, really to tell the story and showcase the art and bring the community together and start conversations. Some of the artists that have inspired me along the way are Amy Sherald, Stephen Hayes, Beverly McKeever, Basquiat, Van Gogh as well. The project that I'm currently working on is called For Colored Girls. I'm looking at a lot of Van Gogh's style, how he used color, and also how um, Beverly McKeever uses color, kind of figuring out how that fits in to portraits. In this series, I want to make a reference to the range of skin tones of African Americans, but also speak on what it means to be considered a colored person in America. We're not colored as in our skin tone is not red, blue, green, and purple. I've always used different mediums, but this is my first time using collage in this way and painting on top of it. The painting behind me is a part of the series for Colored Girls. I picked 15 black women that are very close friends and family, and I wanted to tell their story, but also tell the story of, of a black woman using specific colors and textures through the artwork. Adding an audio element to the series helps the work come alive, and it also helps the audience connect to the pieces in a way that you wouldn't typically connect to it if you were just looking at the piece. When I'm not creating, I'm typically reading, spending time with friends or family, and I spend a lot of time reflecting and, and thinking, really figuring out ways that I can grow more as a person and an artist. And some of the things that I'm passionate about is really giving back to the community in, in a lot of different ways. Just because I've been fortunate enough and I'm extremely blessed, I want to be able to share those blessings to whoever I, I come across.